Okay, the main thing that you're going to be doing when you're working with instances is trying to make sure that you get the right elements in there and that they're well formed, Those and that the, the XML instance itself is well formed as you type it in, especially before you save it. So I'm going to go through some of the indicators that um, Oxygen gives you to show that something is not well formed. First, let me make sure that um, I review quickly the idea of well formed. Well formed means that the XML file obeys the basic rules of syntax. And the basic rules of syntax, as you probably remember, are things like you use angle brackets in order to begin a tag. Um, the tag name can only be one word. The tag names are separated by attributes by a space. The attributes are followed by an equal sign. The equal sign is followed by quote marks. The attribute, it's the value of the attribute goes inside quote marks. All of those things are the, um, the basic rules of XML syntax. And that's what we're talking about when we're talking about getting well formed. Um, another one that will um, probably be the hardest for you to figure out how to fix sometimes is when uh, every open tag does not match with a closed tag. So first of all, let's see how you, um, how, how you uh, know some of the things about how the file is structured right now. Let me click on this thing called outline and you'll see this little line that runs along the side here which brackets the open and closed tag. For every open tag there has to be a closed tag and so um, uh, XML or uh, Oxygen gives you this indication of what the scope of that tag is and if I close it down you'll see that that little bracket is just that one line when I open it up the bracket extends to be the entire line. So that's an indication of how the um, uh, of, of what what element you're in and where it opens and where it closes. Now let's talk about what Oxygen does when um, when there's a problem, when there's a syntax error. So let me do something here. I'm just going to delete one of those uh, I'm going to delete one of those uh, markers, one of the brackets that show that this is an opening tag and notice that now Spy puts a little wavy line under there and that wavy line indicates that there's something wrong right here. This is a nice easy one. Everybody including you is going to notice it very quickly and the error message is a, is a convenient one as well. Element outline must be followed by either an attribute specification or a close. Right, a closed bracket, and of course that's what we did. We had a close, uh, a closed bracket there. Now the wavy lines go away. All right, let's look at some that are a little bit more insidious. Suppose I forget, for example, a quote mark here. I get rid of that quote mark. Again, I get the wavy lines. The wavy lines are right here. And when I mouse over that, it says an open quote is expected. Okay, pretty easy to figure out. And also notice that the color coding has um, has given you an indication that something's wrong as well. Notice that tag names are blue, attribute names are this kind of orange color, and attribute values are in red. So there is an attribute value, it's not in red, it's in the same color as the attribute name, so that also gives you an indication that something's wrong with that attribute. Okay, so there I go, I've fixed that one again, and uh, close that one. Let's see what else I want to show you here. Suppose, uh, suppose some, this one's going to be a more difficult one. So now I forgot that little thing. And I forgot the little uh, forward slash. Now I mouse over the problem and it says invalid content was found starting with the element text. One of blah 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 was expected. Now the error message has diverged significantly from the problem. You wish it would just say you forgot the little forward slash, but instead it doesn't really know what you're doing. It thinks you open the text tab tag and then you open the other text tag because that's what this says. So it doesn't know that this is a broken close tag. It thinks it's another open tag and it says, well, I didn't expect another text. I expected one of these things, B, I, U. So the tags that are allowed to go in here are those B, I, U ones. So now it's going to be more up to you not to read the error message, but instead to recognize what's going on and fix it. And it's easy for me to say, because I just made the, the problem, for you it's going to be much more difficult sometimes because you don't remember when you made that problem. You don't even know that the problem existed until you see those little wavy lines. So pay attention to the... Um, Pay attention to the structure of the file and go over in your mind what, ex what structure you expect where you see that wavy line, regardless of what the error message says. Sometimes the error message will help you, sometimes it won't help you, sometimes it'll throw you in a, in a completely wrong direction. So keep your wits about you and use this idea of the open and close bracket. So if I had this problem here and I was here on the line, I would say, okay, the scope of that one is right. 
How about the scope of this one? Well, I don't see any little lines there. That means, oh gosh, whoops, my text tag isn't closed because it doesn't know how to, it doesn't know how to bracket text. So therefore, that text tag is closed. I do this, and now notice my little line, my little bracket line comes back because it's bracketed correctly or it's opened and closed correctly. Okay, so let me go to some random.